Hey guys, Marcel Leblanc here, Certified Financial Planner, and today I'd like to talk to you guys about the RSP plan and why it's one of the better plans out there for Canadians to prepare for retirement. Now the RSP plan is basically a plan that was established by the Canadian government in order to give preferential tax treatment or give an advantage to those who were prepared to put money aside for the long term in order to prepare for their own retirement. Now, the reason I say preferential tax treatment is for every dollar you put into your RSP plan, the government will give you a tax break. They'll give you a tax deduction which basically says that if you've earned $45,000 and put $5,000 in an RSP, you're only getting taxed on $40,000. Alright, so that $5,000 is deducted by the total amount of money you earned that year. Therefore, you're not getting taxed on that second $5,000. And for people whose employers are taking tax rate off of their pay, that means some tax money comes back to them. That's why a lot of people uh, will scramble around in RSP season and rush to make a last minute contribution because they get their TFOIs, they know how much tax they've paid, and they know how much they're going to get back if they put $5,000 in their RSPs. For self-employed individuals, it's different. You just end up paying less tax because you've put some of your money to RSPs. So you owe less to the government at the end of the year. So for every dollar you put to work in an RSP, you save on income tax. Now, on the flip side, because you got that tax break putting the money in, whatever money you'll take out of the plan will be taxed as income. So income tax deduction, withdrawals are taxed as income. So that's the main advantage. If you're taxed at a higher tax bracket when you're putting it in and taxed at a lower tax, uh, lower bracket when you're taking it out, there's a pretty significant saving between the two year after year after year. That's one advantage. The second advantage is the money that's invested within the plan grows on a tax deferred basis. That means that the interest you've earned or the returns you've earned on your investments aren't taxed every year. So because they're not taxed, there's more being left in the pot to earn more interest on the next year and the next year and the next year. And then at the end it's all taken out as income. Doesn't matter if it was your own money or your interest that you're taking out, it's just all taken out as income. So there's a lot of planning going on that has to be done around RSPs. But if you have any questions, visit muscleleblanc.ca and remember that my advice is free and it always will be. Cheers guys.